I'm Keith Daffrin with Vexus Boats. I'm here today to show you something we're excited about. It's our latest and new model introductions, and it's the 1980cc. It's the first of a family of center console boats that we'll be bringing to the marketplace over the course of the next few months. And what's important about the CC indicator is that it's the center console design. And much like you might see in our prior boats, the AVX uh, side console series, we really took attention to detail to another level. We've integrated fiberglass components throughout the boat. You'll see fiberglass dry storage boxes under the front deck something that's noticeably absent in many of the other center console designs in the market. Our center console has a, has a tow rail to provide increased leg room inside the boat. We've got a lot of our rigging components inside. And then here at the helm, you're able to uh, use a leaning post that can transition from a seat to a leaning post. And then it's flanked on each side by a set of jump seats that fold down to make a larger rear deck. So we've really tried to think through the versatility of this boat. And one of the reasons we're showing it here on the trailer is so you can see our custom made Vexus trailer. This is an aluminum frame trailer with all of the ingredients you see in our side console boats, but it's made for a more harsh environment, which you see oftentimes with salt water or salinic water. So following up from an overview of this new center console, I feel compelled to just show you some of the features that this boat has. And, and I mentioned the dry storage boxes. You'll see fiberglass gel coated storage boxes both in front and behind the front pedestal base. Most competitors have hundreds of dollars worth of cooler that has to be added to the boat. We've integrated this one into the boat itself. Now it's not in the way for you to walk around. It's completely foam filled. You'll see great ice retention characteristics on this, on this particular cooler. We've got on both the port and starboard side individual rod tubes to store your rods in addition to doing it on the side of the console. But one thing I really like to show is this leaning post because here you see it as a seating apparatus where you can have two side by side again with the jump seats. But if you're so inclined, you can simply lift this up and now you've got a nice leaning post where you've got a more elevated view of the waterway and it also gives you access to this fiberglass live well that's underneath the leaning post. I think it's worth mentioning that the price point on this boat will be surprising to many folks because you can package this with your choice of outboard from 115 horse to 150 horse and the boat's going to start in the low 30s. Now it's certainly up to you as a customer as to how many ingredients you want to add to your respective package and I'd encourage you to check all this out on our website. If you go to vexusboats.com you'll be able to see all the detailed pictures, the specifications and just as importantly you'll be able to click on our build mine section and go in and build the boat to your specifications and know exactly what opportunities you have and what an array of options we have on this particular boat. And so again, we're excited about it. If you're after a versatile boat, maybe a side console, traditional bass just isn't your style, I'd recommend you checking out our 1980 center console.